Hi, so here we are again, Crossed a Camper Van Kippers, and another one of the little hacks that I've done on the van. But as usual, I'm doing this whole thing backside first, because I've already fitted some blinds to the van, I'm very happy with them. And now with retrospect, now I know it all works and we're happy with them. Here's a, a sort of an after the event video of what we used and how we did it. And obviously, please come up with a better idea and let me know, because I've still got the cab blinds to do yet. That's what this guy is here in the box, and I'll give you a close-up of that later. Now, these were purchased in Lidl's, and this particular blind here uh, was eight pounds. So this is one of the blinds still in its package, because uh, I haven't actually used this one yet. And this is the Lidl's part number, but sadly that was in Germany. Now, we have seen these blinds available in this country. In fact, we've got a couple of white ones installed in the house, which is kind of where we got the idea. <laughs> If you think you can do anything with these, well then, great stuff, and uh, see if you can track some down. So, as they come out of the packet, with the factory fitted string still attached, now this is going to be really clumsy to try and demonstrate, but what you have to imagine is that you've got one set of strings reasonably tightly fixed above, another set reasonably tightly fixed below, and they're designed to be used like this. Now, when they're installed, you can push the bottom up and they'll stay in position or you can push the top down and it will stay wherever you leave it. And as I say, that's how we've got them set up on the back doors of the van. We'll have a look at those later. But the side doors of the van, my uh, offside uh, fixed window and my sliding door, we mounted them horizontally. Now, straight away, you can see, unless you've got a lot of tension on, in fact, even if you put all the tension on, they do sag in the middle. So what I elected to do was to cut the strings out completely and then with a nipping this really, really tight together, as tight as you possibly can, and then took a drill, an eight millimeter drill in my case, and very carefully and slowly with a pillar drill, not a hand drill, I drilled down through the casing, through the blind and out the other side. Now then having done that, um, and, and with a sharp drill it doesn't actually damage the blind much but that didn't really matter because that portion of the blind is masked by the panels inside the van so anyway through those holes I passed this curtain stretcher push that through the blind and at each side with as much tension as you can get away with uh, the weight of the blind itself isn't enough to distort the tension that's on these stringers and therefore uh, in my opinion I think the blinds look great so we'll go out and have a look at those in the van in a moment. So here we are with uh, an 8mm drill bit uh, in a uh, pillar drill doing that for accuracy make sure that it's uh, drilled perfectly straight but the crucial thing is is to push down on this as tight as you possibly can to bunch all of that material up because if you're not careful or if your drill's blunt it'll start to pull that material out to the side and well make a right dog's breakfast of it to be honest i can't obviously do everything at once here so what i'm going to do is film it in stages and then hopefully knit something that's useful together but i don't really think you need me to teach you how to drill a hole so there it is drilling into the thing you get the idea so i just in case i make a mess of it i better just stop filming now and, and just crack on with it so there we are there's the first hole all the way through a little bit raggy at the moment and uh, i will have to clean that up a bit now also what you will find is because this blind i don't really know what it's made of but you you might find that with the friction of the drill going through there and when you come to pull it apart you think oh my god it's all stuck together but believe me it will come apart and uh, and then you'll be able to uh, remove the strings and um, set it up on your rods or stringer or whatever you like now you might also wonder well what the hell is he drilling an eight mil hole for when i can get away with a four mil rod or a four mil piece of stuff well the reason is is because it's pleated if you use uh, a support that's the same size as the hole as the pleats start to pull out then you'll find that it'll jam so really what you need is a hole that's considerably bigger probably 50 percent bigger than the support that you're going to be using but from my experience i've found that eight mil is really the maximum you can get away with these blinds because if you try to drill a bigger hole the chances are you really are going to ruin it 
drill press. So you can see how they easily slide backwards and forwards. And as I said before, if the hole is the same size as this bit, then it will snag. Because as you can imagine, as you pull these pleats out, the hole then goes off on an angle, reduces the diameter of it in relation to the rod or whatever you're using, and it will cause it to jam. Therefore, you do need, as I say, roughly 50% more, and then that will make sure that it all slides backwards and forwards nice and easily. Uh, the strings are still in here. They will be got rid of and, uh, and then mount it as I have done in the side of the van. So on the sliding door of the van, I knocked up a frame out of this, uh, this racking stuff, which cost a few quid from, uh, I think it was Ikea. And on the outside edge of it, I actually painted it black because I have a black van with blacked out windows. You'll see that in a moment. And I just didn't want there to be any reflections seen through the window from the outside. Now, admittedly, we have lost some of the full width of the glass. I mean, the glass comes to probably about here. But, you know, I think there's sufficient of the window left and, and it looks OK. Now, what I need to do is have some sort of a tie back on the blind here. But what I'm going to quickly do is just demonstrate how that eight quid blind, my mum's stretch curtain thing, bottom and top, hidden behind the panel. So I just grab the blind, slide it along. Oops, sorry for the wobbling about. Click it in place. And there you go. That's it in place. Now, because I did remove the strings, there are the factory made holes, which are obviously left over in the blind. Now, so with these particular blinds, okay, you've got to live with that. Now, similar blinds, probably the, such as the ones IKEA use, they do a honeycomb one, which obviously won't have these things installed. So you might be able to adapt those to the same sort of idea. Now we're going to come around now to the, um, to the off side of the van, uh, i.e. the driver's side, and uh, we'll just sort of demonstrate um, how it looks in there. So again, we, uh, we made the window surround such that the blind can be held back out of place. Actually, these plastic uh, handle things, they'll be done away with. So I'm gonna come up with some sort of an idea for that. Any ideas that you wanna suggest would be great. Uh, and again, on grandma's stretchers, there we go, down there, top and bottom. In this case, on the fixed window, I built uh, a wooden frame around the window, uh, the, you know, the, the see-through part of the window, and I've simply tied the stretchers to that, and again, pulled them as tight as possible. So what I'm going to do again, slide these along, click them into place, and there you go. So those are those two blinds in situ and working great as far as I can tell. And the gray that they are, uh, they do come in white as well, but we got the gray ones because well, the interior of the van's gray and it just ties in beautifully. Now we'll go and have a look at the back windows. Okay, so here we are. These are the back doors of the van. We have a four foot uh, wide fixed bed. At least I'll be horrified. I haven't made the bed before filming this. So here what we've done, we've mounted these blinds vertically as per how they come out of the packet. So underneath this shelf here, see, I can just push down. This stay in place. Push it back up. It stays in place. And similarly, I can do from the bottom up over. But in the situation we've got here, the, the bottom of the blind is actually below the bed. Now then what I need to do, or what I feel I need to do, is come up with a frame to go down the sides here because on occasion I did find myself lying up against that and, and I don't want to damage them so I'm uh, going to be making a frame for that and the recent addition to the van was my teacup rack which doubles up as a ooh, tons of cans of Guinness rack that's forming a, a top edge of the window on this side but again I just want to be putting something down the sides so then with the back door open at the head of the bed, you, you, you might get a bit of a better idea of how the blind looks. Uh, it's extending down to about uh, just just short of two feet, I think. So again, as I say, we've, we've got the factory supplied fixings there. They're not ideal, but they're working, they're doing the job. 
frame around that coming slightly over the edge i think it'll be absolutely spot on but as i say there you go there's the bottom and it stays in place going up and just to demonstrate how it's an up down blind there it is in the middle so inside of the van i've got all of the lights on and this is what it looks like from the outside but of course being black all i'm really doing is getting a reflection of myself and everything behind me but you see there's just like a, a little bit of a glow around about this area but you get the idea of what they look like from the outside and i'll go around the driver's side as well and do the same thing and not much to see other than my ugly mug so this is it on the driver's side please excuse the muck but it, you know you, you might have thought mm, well he's left all those little holes in the blind people will be able to see in well quite honestly no not really i know i've got blacked out windows but i don't really think it would make that much of a difference because any sort of peeping tom would pretty much have to be right up to the glass to see if there's anything going on inside and besides knowing my luck there won't be anything going on inside <laughs> uh, thank, cheers lisa i know you won't appreciate that one now, i'm probably being a little bit premature and coming to the front of the cab perhaps this should be the subject of a video later on but the air post covers here as you know on the remis blinds it is uh cut out there's a slot cut out and the blind fits into there now over there I've got my old workhorse Citroen really. So what I'm going to do is pinch the air post covers out of that, butcher them to accommodate the blind and see if I can do a mock-up on the parts out of that van. And if it's successful, then I'll do the same to this one because the, the trims in this one are a bit beige. Now what I'm intending to do is put a um, like a, a sun visor strip across here, blackout one which brings it down just below where the uh, rear view mirror would normally be. And what I'm intending to do is to make a bracket, which will come down and be a center point for two six millimeter stainless steel rods, uh, which will come out of the air post, come across, be joined in the middle, and then go across also to the passenger side. So there'll be two of those. There'll be um, a rail on the top and another rail on the bottom just in front of this here with some sort of extended leg that'll come up and accommodate them honestly i haven't even considered doing that yet it's all in my head uh, if anybody's got any great ideas love to hear of it and with regards to being a privacy thing uh i want to go to the bottom and possibly put a blackout strip across the bottom as well but of course not want to invalidate any MOT uh, inspection because it would technically be kind of within the swept area of the van uh, and then that just leaves well the side windows okay fair enough I haven't got a plan for those at all so we'll just stick with the thermal blinds that are held on with the suckers.